Continuing on with our best of 2021 series, I am going to go over with you guys the best of 2021 bath and body care. Today, I'll be going over seven of my favorite products that I use consistently, not even just this year, but I find through the last few years. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go in the order of products that I use from before I enter the shower, in the shower, and then when I get out of the shower so that you guys can see the steps that I actually do. So I'm gonna start off first with the Aromatherapy Associates London. This is what they call a body brush. So for those of you that don't know what a polishing body brush is, this is wonderful for stimulating circulation. It boosts cell renewal and eliminates toxins in the body. Now, how does it do that? What you basically do is before you get in the shower, you take the brush, and you're going to scrub your skin very lightly. And that helps obviously to get the blood flow going. And once you get blood flow going, it helps to get circulation going, then helps to eliminate toxins because you're moving the circulation around. And because you're buffing off the dead skin, it reveals a bright, even toned skin. I do this about two to three times a week. You can do it daily. I find it to be a bit too much. I have heard it also helps with cellulite because you're buffing off dead skin and helping with circulation. And it's wonderful for those summer months when you are using self tanner, especially around the elbows, your knees, anywhere where the body kind of bends, we collect a little bit more dry skin. So buffing the skin with this brush is fantastic. Another thing that I like about this actual brand is that they have wonderful bath and body products. They're great for yourself as well as wonderful gifts for friends. Now it comes to this actual brush, it uses natural cactus sisal. I've had this brush for quite some time. I use it often and it stayed in really great shape. I also love that it has this strap behind. Sometimes body brushes are on a handle um, or they just are the block like this, but I find the strap helps to do kind of a quicker exfoliation and it also helps me to have more control. So after I'm done body brushing, I get in the shower and I use these two to get clean. Now I have the Jo Malone here, which I'll get into in a minute, and I use the Byredo body wash. Now I have several of these different scents. For those of you that have not tried Byredo out, it is such a decadent, luxurious scent. I gravitate towards their makeup and their fragrances and their body care, especially their body wash. It's my absolute favorite beside their body lotion. Now, I am sensitive to fragrance. I get migraines quite easily if something's too strong. So some of their fragrances are a bit too strong for me, but the ones I can wear, I absolutely love and get stopped continuously on the street when I do wear them, similar to Jo Malone. Now this one is the Baldi Afrique, and I'm gonna read a bit to you guys about this body wash, but know that all of their body washes are amazing for those of you who are sensitive to scent, but want a little something. This is a great way to wear a fragrance that doesn't feel like it's over the top. So I take a shower with this and it just lightly coats to give me a very subtle fragrance. Now I'm gonna read a little bit to you guys about this. This says the Baldi Africa, the top notes in here are bergamot, lemon, neroli. The heart note is violet, jasmine petals. And the base notes are black amber, vetiver, and Moroccan cedar wood. So incredibly gorgeous. I personally like woody base notes that lift to a citrus with a very light floral, but I don't want it to be overpowering. For me, really less is more. Um, I want it to be light and subtle when I walk into a room and not over the top. So I find this is a great way to wear fragrance and then I'll add the body lotion that matches this just to create a nice, lingering scent that isn't too much. Let's get into the shower oil. So after I'm done using the Byredo body wash, I will grab this to hydrate my skin. I am combination dry, so I definitely need hydration. Um, and I love to use this after I shave because I find that taking the razor and going over areas on my body, it gets you know a bit dry. So taking this oil is lovely. Now, I personally haven't had a negative experience with shaving and then putting this on. Even though it does have a scent, I don't find that it burns um, or irritates my skin. So if you are concerned about that, definitely do a patch test first uh, before you use this anywhere on your body after you shave. Now, I'm going to read a bit to you guys about this product. It says that it's a cleansing shower oil 
nourishing sunflower and castor seed oils help to gently smooth and soften skin. It leaves a delicious scent of velvet rose and oud with damask rose, smoky oud wood, and it's spiked with clover with decadent praline. It's like a rose with a bite to it. So a bit sexy and alluring and still very soft and feminine. I like the juxtaposition. Now this next one I've been using for years and years and years. It smells amazing. It has a lemon scent with sugar and these really big crystals. Now sugar is a humectant, so it draws moisture to the skin and it has that lemon to help brighten the skin and give that nice fresh scent. So what I love about this is this gently buffs dry skin while leaving moisturization. It says up to 24 hours and I find that's absolutely accurate. Now this is for all skin types and a couple of the key ingredients states that it's real brown sugar crystals, that it has a blend of evening primrose, sweet almond, apricot kernel, and jojoba oils, and ginseng root and peppermint extracts. Now I didn't really smell the peppermint in here and peppermint usually irritates my skin and this doesn't, so something to note. Now I also wanna add that for those of you who aren't going to use like a dry brush with a body shower oil, this is awesome to create a very simple one-step exfoliate and hydrate because you have the sugar crystals in there it takes off the dead skin and then leaves you moisturized so for those of you in a hurry or don't like a lot of steps i would just get this for a kind of two and one quick exfoliate and hydrate for the body this next product is by fresh it's the sake bath it's made with pure sake which purifies and soothes the skin and I wanna state that this is such a cool experience for bathing and an incredible gift to give somebody. Now, what makes this so interesting is that the sake, when you put it in the warm water, it heats up. So for those of you who like a really hot bath experience, definitely try this out. Just know that it does definitely heat up the body because the sake really does get the circulation going. So it states that it's a unique purifying soak compromised of pure sake to detoxify, soften, and even the skin tone. It was inspired by the Japanese geisha bathing ritual of perfuming baths with real peaches. This fresh rice sake bath includes an infusion of exquisite fruit and 38% real sake for an unparalleled sensorial experience. This delicately foaming therapeutic soak increases circulation and your body temperature, including a purifying sweat to eliminate toxins. It also contains enzymes that hydrate and smooth the skin's appearance. It's also enriched with pine extract, which promotes easy breathing and pure ginger to render muscles pliable and relaxed. How many of you guys want to just jump in the bath with this now? I mean, <laughs> it's such a luxurious and unique experience. So you're done with your bath, and the next step you would do is you'd put on a hydrator. So I have two that I use, and one is a new product for me that I just got a couple months ago that I am loving, and that is the Goop Jeans Nourishing Repair Body Butter. Now, I am combination dry, and I really should say I'm pretty much dry, and I'm always on the lookout for a really good body butter or good lotion that melts into the skin but does a lot of really great hydration, and this is it. I feel like I found the body product um, that is my go-to now. Now, I read a lot of reviews online. I just want to note that people say that they can't stand the scent but that they love the actual product. I personally don't smell anything. It just smells like really, really, really light kind of lemon rose scent. Maybe there was like some bad batches that came out, but so far for me, so good. So what I like to do is take the body butter and I grab my Osea Algae Body Oil. And this, you guys, has changed my skin. I am on my third or fourth bottle now and I will not be without this. This is not just that it provides hydration, but I notice the tone on my skin, especially around my breast area, my hips, my thighs, my buttocks. Um, it definitely looked much firmer and I attribute that to the algae that's in here. First, let's read a couple of key points on the Good Jeans body butter. So this states that it's a luxurious results driven body cream that leaves skin looking firm, glowing and nourished and moisturizes up to 72 hours. Now some of the key ingredients in here are the Bakura butter which nourishes the skin with minerals, amino acids and intensive moisture. 
the Caviar Lime, which improves cell turnover and hydration for smoother, brighter looking skin, and the Mulberry Leaf, which moisturizes, smooths, and boosts cell turnover for brighter, more youthful looking skin. It does say that the product is vegan and cruelty free, and it is meant for those that have dry skin looking for a silky, soft, smooth, firm, and toned ultra nourishing cream. Now what I'll say is when I put this on, it felt very hydrating. I was worried I was gonna get into bed and feel sticky or it would just stick to my sheets. Not so. I put this on in about 10 minutes, it had soaked into my skin. So I was very impressed for this being as rich as it was when it first went on, but just melting right in. Now, let's get into the Osea oil and then I'll show you guys how I put these together. This is a seaweed infused botanical body oil. So it's meant to firm and moisturize the skin and it definitely does that. So if you look online, you'll see that this has rave reviews, whether you get it from Selfridges or you get it on Credo or you get it at Nordstrom's, whatever your retailer's at. Everywhere I looked, I noticed that this had stellar reviews and five stars. So I'll read a little bit to you guys about this. It states that it's a seaweed infused body oil that delivers a rush of antioxidant, mineral hydration, softens, nourishes, and firms skin, diminishes the look of sagging skin, and reduces the appearance of stretch marks. It's rich, never greasy, aromatherapy elixir enhances every inch with an intoxicating, uplifting scent of citrus lime, grapefruit, and sweet undertones of cypress. Now it states that you should generously massage onto dry or damp skin. My favorite way to wear this is to take the Goop body butter, put some in my palm, take the Osea body oil, and mix it together, and apply. Now for those of you that like a glossy, glowy, hydrated look to your skin, especially in summer, if you have that golden, beautiful tan, then I highly recommend mixing these two together to create a beautiful sheen on the skin. So here we go, a beautiful sheen on the skin. You can kind of see on my fingers here. It was a nice glow. It's a beautiful citrus scent. It's just so good, you guys. Beyond just being hydrated, I love that I am firming and toning my skin and leaving a very light, fresh, yummy scent. We're down to our last product today, and that's the Byredo Hand Lotion. Now I use this by my sink, kitchen, as well as bathroom, and I will say that when it comes to this hand lotion, I use it on my body as well. I just like the way it feels, and I like to use it as my scent when I want a lighter scent and don't wanna wear a fragrance. And for those of you that are wondering what I think of the Jo Malone body care compared to the Byredo, hands down, I reach more for the Byredo when it comes to their body products than I do Jo Malone. Jo Malone, I love their uh, body oil, I love their hand wash, and I love their bar soap, but I'm not a big fan of their body lotion, but I absolutely love the Byredo hand and body lotion. There's nothing like it. For those of you that like scent in your body care. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on my best of 2021 body care. I really tried to narrow it down. I have a lot more body care than this, but when I was putting these best of 2021 um, series videos together for you all, I was really thinking about like really what was the best of the best? What are the ones that I really reached for? What are the products that I've had clients like? My mind is really thinking not just about what I love, but also about what I think you guys might love as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I deeply appreciate those of you that continue to support me. I cannot believe we are headed towards the end of 2021 into 2022. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on this journey. And for those of you that are new to the channel, well, thank you for watching. If you want to support Shree Voyage, all you have to do is to subscribe. Use my affiliate links down below for any of the products that I talk about on my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment. All right, everyone, as always, continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, everyone, see you soon.